Hey everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. In this video, let's learn a new concept called Environments in GitHub Actions. Let's say you have a project with multiple deployment targets like development, staging and production. Whenever you make changes to your source code, you might want to create a package that first gets deployed to dev, followed by stage for testing. And once you make sure that the changes look good, then you would want to move to production. So you might want to have few settings to manage your deployments, especially when dealing with sensitive uh, deployments like production, right? So this is where environments come into picture. First, let me uh, show a workflow that has uh, multiple environments. So I have already created a YML file called environments where I have three jobs. The first one is dev. Uh, all these jobs run on uh, Ubuntu latest and they have a single step to deploy. Ideally, you will have a code to deploy your uh, package to maybe app services or function apps based on your requirement. Uh, but for now, for demo purpose, I just gave a uh, an echo command here that would print deploy to this environment. So this is dev and then I have another job called stage which needs dev. So once the deployment to dev is completed, it goes to stage and then starts deployment. Then I have another job called prod that depends on stage. Uh, let's see how this workflow looks like if I go to view runs and click on the workflow that I have already run. You see that uh, we have dev, then we have stage depending on dev, then prod depending on stage. Let me actually trigger this workflow once again to see how the package gets deployed. If I open this, uh, it's waiting for dev to start. So dev is completed, then it moved to stage and then it goes to prod. Now, if you notice, once the package is deployed to stage, it directly went to prod and it's, it's uh, waiting for the job to start and it's completed already. This is not an ideal setup, right? You might not want to push every change that you uh, push to dev and stage to prod because uh, you want to make sure that your changes are working fine. Only then you'll decide a date where you want to, when you want to push to prod, right? So you might want to stop your deployment here. Uh, so in order to set up these configurations for each and every environment, you have an option called uh, environments under settings tab. If you click on the settings tab, in the left panel, you'll see an option called environments. You have a button to create a new environment. Let me create a new environment. Let's say dev and I'll click on configure environment. Here you'll see several options. The first option is deployment protection rules. So you can uh, configure who are the approvers for your uh, environment. So before you proceed with the deployment, you want that environment to be approved by some reviewers, right? So you can add up to six reviewers here and the reviewers can be uh, individual users or the teams. So in order to approve a deployment, you just need only one approval. You, you don't want to wait for all reviewers to approve your deployment. Only one approval is needed. Once it is approved, it goes and deploys to that specific environment. Then you have another option called wait timer. So let's say you don't want to push to prod immediately and you want to wait for some time before you actually deploy the package. So you can select this option called wait timer. If you check this, you'll see there is an option to set the number of minutes. Minutes. So you can set from one minute to up to 30 days, which is around 43,000 uh, minutes. Uh, I don't want to check this. Uh, so let me just add uh, required reviewers for now. I'll add uh, interview pro ORG, which is myself. So I added myself as a reviewer. Uh, I can add five more reviewers here. So you can see the count here. And there is another option called prevent self review. So let's say I am, um, I triggered a workflow to deploy something and it's waiting for the approval. I do not want to approve the, uh, 
approve i mean i do not want to approve the package deployment because that was the workflow triggered by me i want another reviewer to approve it in that case you can uh, check this box you can prevent uh, reviewing your own uh, workflow then we have another option called allow administrators to bypass configured rules generally admins uh, to this repository will have access to deploy without any approvals uh, by default this is checked but if you do not want such bypass rules you can always disable this now i'll click on save protection rules uh, you have other option also to deploy uh, deployment branches and tags so you can decide which branches or tags can deploy to this particular environment there are three different options here one uh, no restriction that means any branch can uh, uh, deploy to this environment otherwise you can select protected branches only so if you have branch protection rules enabled only those branches are allowed to deploy then you have uh, selected branches and tags you can explicitly specify which branch you want to uh, allow uh, deployment for this environment for example when we take the environment such as prod you do not want to deploy packages generated by the main or master branches uh, ideally you would maintain a separate branch which might start with the word releases uh, and you want only those branches to deploy uh, to this prod environment in such case you can specify a pattern here let's say release star and you can add a rule then only the branches whose name starts with release will um, uh, deploy to this environment uh, for now i am not adding these rules so i'll click on this branch protection rules we'll come back to this environment secrets and environment variables later but for now let's look at this deployment protection rules i'll click on save protection rules and if i go to environments uh, you can see that uh, the name of the environment and there are two protection rules configured and what are those protection rules we have uh, uh, reviewers and we do not want to allow self review now in order to utilize these environments let me actually create other two environments for uh, stage and uh, prod i'll configure the environment similar to the dev one um, actually, I don't want any reviewers for uh, stage, so I'll just click on uh, save protection rules. Um, let me create another environment called prod. Click on configure environment. For prod, I need reviewers for sure. So I'm just adding myself for now. Interview pro org. And I'm not checking prevent self review because I want to approve the deployment myself. I don't want to bypass the administrators, so bypass protection rules by administrators. So I'll just click on save protection rules and uh, let me remove protection rules for uh, dev because dev I want automatic deployments. So I'll click on save protection rules. Now you can see that, uh, okay, let, let me save again and refresh. Okay, I forgot to uh, set this to no restriction. Now, if I click on save protection rules and go back to environments, I see that only prod has protection rules. Now, let's utilize these environments in our workflow. I am going back to the workflows repository, workflows uh, folder and click on environment.yml. Edit this and I'll add a property called environment. And what is the name of my environment? It's dev. Similarly, I'll add this to all my other uh, environments. So if you don't have any protection rules or any uh, configurations, you can ignore this property. You can uh, add this property only to the um, environments that have protection rules. Uh, for now, I am adding it to all the environments. I'll click on save, commit changes, update, and I'll go to view runs. 
now I'll click on run workflow let's see how it behaves now it is uh, deploying to dev we don't have any environment protection rules here it will automatically deploy and same with the uh, stage environment it will automatically deploy now let's see what happens with prod now look at this uh, this is not automatically deploying to prod it says prod waiting for review prod is the name of the environment that we used in the environments uh, settings and it is waiting for the review to see who can uh, uh, review and how to review there is a button called review deployments click on this and you'll see the environment name and it will also mention it is uh, waiting for the review from whom I added interview pro org as a reviewer for this environment and you can see this name here so you can select this environment and uh, leave uh, a comment maybe approved and click on approve and deploy uh, if you click if you don't want to approve then you can click on reject I'll uh, click on approve and deploy now it will uh, start deployment so this is how uh, approvals work now go to environments click on prod check this prevent self uh, self review and click on save protection rules now i'll go back to actions and then to environments i'll trigger this workflow again Now prod is waiting for review and you can see it just says view earlier we saw review deployment but it says view because earlier I, I am the interview pro org user and I had access to approve this so it says review needed but uh, there is no other reviewer other than interview pro org so it doesn't show any reviewer here so this is how I can prevent review of the workflows that are triggered by me then let's go to settings click on environments and I'll uncheck this option and I'll enable wait timer uh, I'll wait for uh, one minute and uh, click on save protection rules if I go back to actions and trigger the workflow again run workflow now it says prod is waiting for review and prod is waiting for these many seconds let's see what happens if I review this before this timer uh, completes so it is still waiting for uh, 43 seconds even though I approve this uh, environment it still waits for the timer and you can see the status here it is waiting for the timer to complete and what is the timer here one minute wait timer let's uh, wait for another 20 seconds and see if it deploys so it's waiting for zero seconds and now you can see that the prod deployment started so these are different options to set uh, deployment protection rules for environments um, actually let me add uh, protection rule for stage and see how it works when there are two um, approvals I'll add uh, interview pro org and click on uh, save protection rules also to my workflow I'll remove dependency uh, so that we can see the workflow waiting for two approvals so I'll remove dependency on uh, prod uh, stage will still wait for dev or let me just remove the dependency here as well commit changes uh, go to view runs and trigger the workflow now let's see how it behaves there is no dependency between jobs so you see there are three jobs running uh, parallelly and uh, uh, so dev completed prod is waiting for review stage is also waiting for review let me just refresh yeah so both prod and stage are waiting for review prod has another protection rule called wait for one minute now if I click on review deployment I see there are two different environments if I want to uh, approve only prod I can select prod if I want to approve both prod and stage I can select both of them and uh, uh, provide some comment here approved maybe and then click on approve uh, we actually saw uh, how approve and deploy works now I'll click on reject to see how it works so I clicked on reject and uh, 
let me refresh and you see that this job is failed and here uh, you can see the deployment was rejected or didn't satisfy other protection rules and the wait timer it is cancelled because another deployment protection rule was rejected so for a deployment to proceed all the deployment protection rules should be satisfied here one of them is not satisfied and hence the deployment is uh, rejected so yeah this is how you can configure deployment protection rules to different environments in your workflow i hope the concept is clear if you like the content please hit the like button share your thoughts in the comment section and uh, don't forget to subscribe to interview pro thank you